लेट अस डू ब्रह्मनाद ओ हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस रिकॉल व्हाट वी डिस्कस इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी डिस्कस genetically engineered human insulin which was first produced by genentech company of usa before this the animal insulin was used to cure the diabetic uh, patients the pe person who are suffering from diabetes mellitus uh, the animal insulin was given but it was causing the allergies and of the type of reactions so with the Um, uh, emergence of uh, the biotechnology with the development of the biotechnology uh, methods the genetically the human insulin is engineered then later the genentech uh, company given the license to eli lilly and eli lilly started first eli lilly started synthesizing and marketing the human insulin in the name commercially commercially started uh, producing and marketing of the human insulin in the name of humulin even in india it is started by wakart limited and it is marketed in the name of ozlin the companies are making the insulin they are uh, marketing the insulin in injectable or inhalable form the injectable is the more common form which is available in pen or vial and pen is uh, available either disposable or reusable form and the vial form is marketed by wakart limited whereas inhalable form is yes produced by the uh, pfizer company and what is the structure how it is synthesized the two polypeptides the pep two peptide chains a and b they are produced separately in uh, two separate e coli different e coli then they are extracted the proteins are extracted and they are combined mixed to obtain the the active insulin because in human when the insulin is synthesized in pro insulin state where another peptide chain remains the peptide c peptide so here the when it is produce commercially the unwanted c peptide is not to avoid the synthesis of the unwanted c peptide it is uh, uh, synthesize the a and b peptide are synthesized separately in two separate e coli recombinant vaccines are produced um uh, by the using the recombinant uh, dna technology by taking the gene that is uh, encoding for antigenic uh, that uh, protein taken from uh, isolated from the pathogens and gene therapy as we discuss gene therapy is the replacement of the faulty gene with a normal healthy gene normal functional healthy gene is called gene therapy it is of two types somatic cell gene therapy and germ cell gene therapy and somatic cell gene therapy was first done in a four years girl asanthi tisalva for skid severe combined immunodeficiency which is uh, which was caused due to the deficiency of adenosine the deaminase ada and germ cell gene therapy it uh, it is uh, not so common because of the development of uh, ethical issues the gene therapy the method of gene therapy can be two types ex vivo in vivo ex vivo means in vitro when it is drawn outside the affected cells are taken out the in the in a affected cell the replacement of a gene is drawn then after that they are cloned in the culture medium then reimplanted then they are transplanted into the area 
from where they are taken out. But in vivo means it has to be drawn inside the body where it is in a trial method because uh, that uh, in vivo cloning is, uh, is not possible or somewhat very much difficult. In this session, we are going to discuss the GMOs, genetically modified organisms. What are uh, GMOs or genetically modified organisms? Yes, the plants, animals, fungi, the microorganisms like bacteria, those whose genes have been uh, altered by genetic engineering or that is, by, mean of, by means of gene manipulation are called genetically modified organisms or GMOs. The first GMO was created by Herbert Boyer and Stanley Cohen. Herbert Boyer and Stanley Cohen in 1973 first developed the GMO. It is, it was a canamycin antibiotic resistant bacterium. It was developed by transferring the gene for canamycin antibiotic resistance, which is isolated, which was isolated from a canamycin resistant bacterium and transferred to a canamycin sensitive bacterium. And it was successful. Then they tried attempting uh, for transferring the genes from toad genes from toad to bacterium and even the genes were expressed they were transferred genes from toad were transferred to a bacterium and and were expressed and were expressed so they got the success However, the, how the genes are transferred within a species, within a species, across the species and across the kingdom also. As you can uh, find out that here the animal, yeah, the gene from animal, the genes from animal were transferred to the bacteria, the prokaryotic, eukaryotic gene were transferred to prokaryotic. So, the gene here, exogenous gene, the transport gene, we can say the genes are exogenous because genes from other organism, however, genes from other organism, so the genes are called, so these genes, other organism, that's why these are called exogenous, exogenous gene. The gene of interest, this gene of interest which is transferred to other organism for its expression, a gene of interest is called transgene. Trans gene. And to which organism this transgene is transferred, the organism is called genetically modified organism or transgenic organism. The organism who obtain who obtain this transgene, they are called organism who obtain the transgene they are called GMO or even transgenic organism transgenic organism a wide variety of transgenic organisms or genetically modified organisms are developed the genetically modified crops genetically modified plants genetically modified animals so called transgenic animals and even the transgenic microbes are developed. The GM crops, genetically modified crops, the crops 
which uh, uh, possess one or more transgene they are called genetically modified crops many genetically modified crops or plants we uh, we have discussed that are the golden rice uh, with the elevated beta protein the flavored savor tomato where the polygalactron is, is uh, inhibited uh, for the expression so that uh, the ripening and softening of the tomato is delayed here we will discuss some pest resistant plants the bt crops many uh, type of uh, crops are developed the bt cotton the bt cotton bt corn bt soybean etc are developed various type of what is bt bt the the abbreviation taken from the bacillus thuringiensis a soil gram positive soil bacteria bacillus thuringiensis it is a gram positive gram positive soil bacteria so a gene which expresses a toxic protein in bacillus thuringiensis it is isolated and introduced into the plants for its expression of the for the expression of the toxic protein why it is required so the crops are developed in three way that is by using the the pesticides and chemicals insecticides weedicide herbicide so chemicals are used another is organic another is and now the recombinant uh, type of uh, agriculture is done when the chemicals are used the pesticides insecticides they are accumulated in the organism's uh, tissue in different uh, uh, trophic level from starting from producer to consumers so as these pesticide these chemicals are non degradable they are accumulated in the tissue of the organism causing the biomagnification biological magnification it is going on increasing in how much it is there in the uh, producer's uh, tissue then in the uh, consumer first level second level in the consumers it is going on increasing so to reduce this the scientists started developing the pest res resistant plants uh, herbicide resistant plants so what happens the use of pesticides is reduced the use of insecticides is reduced these are insect resistant plants so bacillus thuringiensis it produces a toxic protein a toxic protein generally it is uh, known as uh, the bt toxin or because this protein is produced in crystal form so the crystal protein cry protein so cry protein in various name it is named and even it is also known as delta endotoxin the bt toxin the insecticidal the crystal protein that affect various group of insects like lepidopterans like the tobacco bot worm and army worm the coleopterans like beetles and the dipterans like flies and mosquitoes the bt toxins and coded by the cry gene the gene is called cry gene which are insect uh, 
uh, which are insect group specific. The different type of cryogens are there. They affect different uh, group of insects. So cry 1 AC and cry 2 AB controls the cotton ball worm. Whereas cry 1 AB controls the corn borer. Cry 3 AB controls the Colorado potato beetle. And cry 3 BB controls the corn rot worm. There, are, there is some uh, history that Monsanto USA is the first company to develop the BT cotton, BT cotton shapes in the trade name Volgar. Another, the plant genetic system. Later it was uh, converted into Aventis Crop Science. Is the creator of Starlink corn, that is BT corn, in the trade name, in the trade name Starlink corn. But uh, the company, the Aventis Crop Science, had uh, developing variety of corn seeds, but that become, uh, that became harmful for, not suitable for the human being. So they are withdrawn from the market. So how it works, let us discuss. The toxin, how it in, uh, affect the insects, kill the insect. The required cryogen is inserted into transport to the cotton plant cell. Let us discuss the BT cotton. How it uh, develops, how it uh, get protected from the insects. As we already discussed that Bacillus thuringiensis that produces a toxic protein but in inactive form. This is how it gets activated. We will discuss here. So, this uh, strain of Bacillus thuringiensis produces the toxin called Bt toxin in inactive form. In inactive form. This toxin that in active form it kills the insects. Is it? So this toxin when the insects come in contact with the cotton, they they come and live in the cotton plant. They they eat, they ingest insects or the caterpillars. Caterpillars, mainly caterpillars, the embryo of the insects, caterpillars, ingest the toxin, inactive toxin. This toxin, they ingest the inactive toxin. And this toxin is activated in the alkaline pH in the gut of the insect. In alkaline, alkaline pH of insect's gut, of insect's gut, the inactive toxin converted into inactive toxin converted into converted into active toxin okay this active toxin this active toxin it creates the pore in the epithelial lining of the midgut, it creates pore, pore in the epithelial in epithelial cells of midgut. 
of the insect. These epithelial cells, what happens? These cells, then what happens when the pore is formed? Here is the cell. If the pore is formed, the fluid enters into this tissue fluid. This is epithelial cell. Actually, this uh, active toxin binds with the epithelium. First binds, right now binds with the epithelium. Then this, when it binds, it creates the pore in the epithelial cells of the mid -cut. Okay? Here. Binds with the epithelium of midgut, you can write down. And, and thus the create the pore in the epithelial cell. Here cells swell up, swells up, then burst out, are causing the cell lysis. Cell lysis cell death causes the cell lysis. How? This epithelial tissue when the pore is formed in the epithelial tissue, the tissue fluid tissue fluid enters into that cell and cell swells up and burst out. Cell lysis occurs. That causes the eventual death. The eventually eventually Death of insect occurs. Death of insect occurs. This is how the insects are killed. The toxin is produced in inactive form. Then insects uh, uh, or caterpillar ingest infect that uh, inactive toxin. Inactive toxin gets activated in the uh, converted into the active toxin in the alkaline pH of alga, the insects got within the insects got the pH is alkaline the medium is alkaline then it gets activated active toxin binds with the epithelium of the mid gut there the it creates the pore in the epithelial cells the cells swells up burst out then cells cell death occur that causes eventually gradually the number of cells uh, the cell lysis occurs, number of cells, uh, they burst out and eventually death of the insect occurs. Okay. This is how the Bt cotton, Bt corn, Bt soybean and many more Bt plants are developed on, uh, depending upon the type of crop, depending upon the type of uh, group of insect that affect, infest the cry gene, the type of the related uh, Crygene is transferred. Next, let us discuss the another uh, pest resistant. These are also pest resistant. Insects are also pest. So, pest resistant that is nematode resistant uh, plant. Many nematodes leave its parasites in plants and animals. Animals, as we know, Ascaris, Ascaris lumbricoides. In plant, there, uh, there is a nematode parasite known as Meloidigyne incognita. Meloidigyne incognita. It is actually incognita in NCT, it is given incognitia. However, this is a parasite which infect and infest the tobacco, tomato, the brinjal root. Root of, they infect and infest the root of tobacco, even tomato and brinjal plants. What they do? 
do they they, they infect and on infestation infestation occurs they grow over there infestation uh, so during the the parasitic time the when they leave is parasite even they grow over there they consume the root tissue and damage thus they cause the root knot disease root knot create the root knot disease that creates the crack in the roots as what happens roots roots uh, give cracks and secondary infection occurs secondary infection occurs that causes the the water and mineral absorption that leads to the impairment of the water and mineral absorption so what happens the water and mineral mineral absorption absorption is impaired that leads to drastic reduction of yield so scientists thought to develop the transgenic plants well, dna transcribes to mrna mrna translates to pro, uh, that uh, protein translates protein protein helps in the growth here a double stranded rna double stranded rna by interfering the translation of mrna stops the protein synthesis by uh, interfering the mrna it silences it blocks the mrna making it double stranded rna this rna double stranded rna that by rna by blocking and uh, silencing the mrna by blocking or silencing the mrna inhibits inhibits translation So no protein, no growth. That occurs. So what happens? The nematode specific gene of the melody gene in cognata is introduced into the root cell of the plant. So it develops the double stranded DNA. The DNA, this is the DNA. It produces means that is incorporated in the plant. DNA, genomic DNA. And this is the, if nematode specific gene is this, okay, then the translation, suppose this one 5 prime to 3 prime, 3 prime to 3 prime to 5 prime. This is the called coding and non coding strand of the here, the coding and non coding. Strand. It is the uh, both the strand produces the mRNA. They are complementary to each other, and the dsRNA is produced. This dsRNA now cleaved. dsRNA is cleaved as the dicer is present. What is present here? Dicer. Dicer is present in eukaryotic uh, cells. Dicer or the RNA is 2. RNA is 2 is there. That helps in splitting this DSRNA into these 
are RI RNA. Sorry, SI, salt interfering RNA. Salt interference RNA or micro RNA you can say MI RNA. Even hairpin RNA these are called. These RNAs, when the, these are produced in the plant cell, when the nematode parasite comes to eat the tissue, when the, on entry, when the nematode, they eat the SIRNA enter into nematode. So on the nematode entry, you can say on nematode entry, what happens? The SIRNA enters into this. Suppose this is the nematode. This is the plant cell and this is the nematode. Enters. Thus what happens? Here the DNA became the DSRNA. DS double stranded RNA, double stranded RNA now these are SI RNA. SI RNA they enter into this. SI RNA they enter into this and they enter into this. The nematode. Enter into the nematode. What happens over there? Within the nematode, risk is there. Risk plus a complex protein. RNA induced silencing complex. RNA induced what is the risk? RNA induced silencing complex. Okay. Risk pro that uh, risk proteins are there. This causes the unzip, the double stranded RNA, small segments of double stranded RNA, they unzip. They unzip. They become like this. Unwind. They unwind, forming the single stranded RNA. From DS, SI RNA, they become the single stranded RNA. Here in the nematode, what happens in the nematode body for growth? This is nematode. In nematode body, what happens? The DNA, its DNA produces mRNA. mRNA. This mRNA has to produce the protein. But what happens? The single stranded complementary strands they bind with this mRNA. So, as the mRNA becomes double stranded, it is not capable to synthesize the protein. Cannot synthesize. This mRNA cannot synthesize, translate protein. Cannot translate. Protein. No protein. No protein. No growth. If protein is not produced, then no growth. No growth. The nematode dies. One. The death of the one. Eventually the one dies. The nematode worm. What I told? Just take it out. These double stranded RNA, the source of double stranded RNA is due to the some ribovirus and transposons. These are the some of the element that they introduce some by introducing some factors in the plant cell, in the eukaryotic cell, what happens? The double stranded RNA are produced. Again I am telling you the nematode specific gene that is the that uh, having the two strands that uh, 
produces the double stranded BS RNA because of the introduction of some special factors, some factors. And this double stranded RNA is cleaved into small pieces called SI RNA, short interference RNA or micro RNA. When the nematode enters, nematode attacks the plant tissue, plant tissue is eaten by the nematode, then this short interference RNA enters into the nematode body. And within the nematode tissue, what is that? Risk is that, that complex protein, uh, RNA induced the silencing complex and this causes the unwinding or unzipping of this double stranded mRNA, M, uh, double stranded uh, short RNA pieces, SI RNA, micro RNA, double stranded uh, micro RNAs. Then on other hand, in nematode body, DNA that transcribes the mRNA and this mRNA definitely complementary to this uh, um, this uh, mRNA because this gene was taken is taken from nematode so this complete these all the uh, these pieces of the micro RNA the single standard micro RNA many complementary pieces are there they bind with the mRNA of the nematode so they stops they blocks they inhibit the translation of the um, translation of the mRNA mRNA is silenced. Here mRNA is silenced. It is incapable to produce the protein. So, growth is stopped due to the non, non, non due to the stoppage of synthesis of protein. This is how the nematode resistant plants are developed. Write down all this. Hirudin is a protein. Is a blood that prevents the blood clotting blood coagulation it is required when the blood test blood is given for the uh, blood test for uh, the diagnosis of different disorder so blood if the blood uh, is uh, coagulated is clotted the test cannot be done so herodine is added to that so gene encoding for herodin chemically synthesize and introduce transport into the brassica nafus. The plant brassica nafus. And herodin is accumulated, accumulates in seeds and they, from the seeds these are extracted and purified and used as medicine. As I told earlier that uh, we will discuss the herodin synthesis. Okay, write on all this. Then we will discuss the genetically modified animals or transgenic, transgenic animals.